Yo, 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 it's your boy Gabe. We're back again with another video. <laughs> yeah, bro, I was watching a review on Tesla and um, this guy, he does reviews on Tesla. His name is like Doug Marino, whatever his name is. Wait, so he buys them and like... Nah, like oh. people people will hit him up and be like, hey, I have a Tesla, come do it. Come do a review on it. And oh, he'll come yeah, to yeah. you, he'll do a review on it. Yeah, bro, and um, you can watch Netflix on a big ass screen. Oh, yeah, it's bro, crazy. It's crazy, it's insane. It's like a road trip in that thing, you're just you're chilling. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Alright Willie, so uh, let's talk music. Alright, um, um, how'd you get into music? Oh, we're talking about my music. Yeah, yeah, how'd you get into music, bro? Alright, so I have a I have a friend that does like uh, like EDM and produces stuff like that. Um, and obviously I'm not really interested in that stuff, but you know, I've been friends with this kid for a long time and he just texted me one day, he's like, Oh like do you wanna make a song? I'm like, I mean yeah, sure. Um, so he like sent me a beat, went ahead and did it, wrote to it. Uh, Cause I've, all, I've always been interested in like writing and writing songs, stuff like that. Um, I used to like write songs about girls like way back in the day. Uh, <laughs> I did too, I'm, some, I'm some corny stuff. Bro. Yeah, I did too. Like, uh, like mad corny. Um, so yeah, it was always something that interested me, or me. So I, I went ahead and wrote to it, recorded it. Um, if you listen to it now, it's mad cringy, but um, that was, like, yeah. how long ago was that? Like six months ago or something? When you did uh, stay woke, <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> pretty cringy. Yeah, it's cringy. But uh, yeah, so it was about six months ago. Um, then the second one was flight. Uh, so that I, did that, I did that with him as well. Flight is on some of my videos. Yeah, so f flight, um, probably one of my better songs to this day, to be honest. Uh, I, pr I probably like it more than most of my songs. Um, and yeah, then basically, <laughs> thanks, bro. Uh, and mostly after that, everything's kind of just been on my own. Uh, just like, it, I mean, I produce a little bit here and there, so like, I, I, I can produce beats, but I'd rather get them from other places just because they're a little bit more polished. But um, but the beats that you've been making so far are pretty dope. Yeah, they're getting Plus, better for sure. You wouldn't have to worry about like we could use it on YouTube. Yeah, you don't have to worry about the copyrights and stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. Plus, it's, it's a sick story. You know what I'm saying? You blow up. Yeah. Everyone's like, damn. This guy, you know, writes his own, writes his own stuff, right. and creates his own beats. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Normally, I don't know how often you see that. Yeah, it's, it's not too often. Um, so yeah, I definitely, it's def just something I gotta get better at. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, most of the stuff I'm, I've been doing recently, I have an album coming very soon. Um, and it's mostly, I mean, it's most of the beats I got off YouTube. Uh, I, I've basically just got to buy them all, and uh, I write to them, record them. I record in my car because I don't got a studio or nothing. Um, right here, y'all. Yeah, right here. Is it right here? He so, puts up, he puts up the mic right here, sits in the back, and he just flings yeah, coming I, out his I, breath. I like it because, like, you know, it's it's honestly kind of a vibe. Like, it, it's just one of those things where, like, if I happen to ever blow up one day, like, I'll you'll remember that forever. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's a story. It's a good yeah. Story. And I mean, a lot of my favorite artists, like, I, I remember. I mean, one of my favorite artists, Bryson Tiller, um, and he uh, has a lot of stories about like how, how he used to live in his car and like work at Papa John's, and then don't blew up, and then like his whole life changed. So like it's just little stuff like that that I look up to. And you know, I, it takes once it takes one song yeah. to reach one ear, and that one ear that listens to that one song yeah. can literally change your whole entire life. That's why it's important to like whatever you guys are doing, just keep going. Yeah, hundred percent. Because that one, oof, that one, whatever it is, that one something could just change your whole entire life. It's yeah, crazy. Hundred percent. Um, so I guess I guess something I want to ask you, Gabe, is like. You're, if you had to pick like your top five like artists, if you had to listen to five people for the, I mean, okay, I think, yeah, I like that question. I think I think out of out of all people, like if we both had to choose one person to listen to forever, for me it's Drake, obviously, because uh -huh. Drake's just the fuck, he's just a goat. Yeah. Um, and I probably think you might agree with me on that. Yeah, I, I think Drake is but one I of the greatest. I want yeah. So, but I want to move it to five. That way we have some more like okay. some room to talk about like different artists that we like and stuff and why. Um, and also, if you're watching this in the comments, I want to see some artists that you guys are listening to. I want to see your favorite songs, just anything about music, because we love music. Me and Gabe always talk about music, uh, and lyrics and stuff like that, so. So, five artists that I would have to listen to for the rest of my life. <laughs> We're gonna start with 50 Cent. If you know me, yeah, 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 yeah. big 50 guy, yeah. alright? Then I'm about to go with Eminem. I think he is the best lyricist. Is that the right word? Definitely, definitely the most like clever. Like he very so the clever. Man is words, nice with yeah. words. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm I'm gonna throw Drake up there. I like Drake. Um, now listen. Uh, I, 
like Ed Sheeran too. I'm gonna throw Ed Sheeran. Ooh, okay. Too. It's a different. You Don't, know what I'm saying? It's a, you can't hate because you cannot hate on Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Yo, I know a lot of people are gonna nice. try to act up. You ain't listen to Ed Sheeran, bro. Exactly. No, yeah. no, 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 no. The no. man is fire. nice. Fire. Fire. So it's Justin Bieber. <laughs> Bieber's nice. I ain't gonna lie. He is nice. Yeah, he's nice also. So my last <laughs> one, my five. All right, I would have to say. As much as I want to say Pop Smoke, it's just like, I can't listen to him forever, but it's like, God, you know, rest in peace to him. He can't even make more music. So, like, I want to say Pop Smoke, but That's I... Tough. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, imagine a gym session without Pop Smoke, though. Honestly, you, you know, know what? what I'm Screw it. I'm going to say Pop Smoke. Yeah. yeah I'm going to say Pop Smoke. So, I got 50 Cent, Eminem, Drake, Ed Sheeran, and Pop Smoke. All I can right. listen to them. For the rest of my life. Alright, so for me, my favorite my favorite artist of all time is Drake. I look up to Drake. Drake's the GOAT. He motivates me. It's Drake, number one. I can't can't I definitely could not go the rest of my life without listening to him. Okay. Um second, I'm just gonna go with Bryson Tiller because honestly for just Trap Soul alone, uh, I think it's probably one of the like just the, the time that, that that album came out and just like what it stands for, that I I just I, I love that album so much I couldn't go the rest of my life without listening to that. Um, and the other three are hard because I those are, have been like my top two forever, and then like mm -hmm. I'm kind of changing my music taste right now as well. So obviously I'm gonna throw in Pop Smoke as well. I mean I literally just started listening to him like two months ago. Um, but I put him on. I just yeah he did. My brother put me on. I'm not gonna lie. I just couldn't I I couldn't go like a gym session without listening to Pop Smoke. Like I I, I don't know. I, I feel invincible. Woo! Plus, my favorite song right now is Enjoy Yourself by Pop Smoke. Um, by far like I can't stop listening to that shit. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's those three. I mean, we're just recently I've been put onto the kid Leroy, and I love this kid. He's just like he, he's dope. Um, I don't I don't know if I'd really even put him in my top five. It's kind of all I got right now. But I mean, I, I love like I, I I like Lil Uzi a lot. I like Future. I like. Oh wait, so what are we at? Three I mean, or four? I, have, I, I guess I'll put Kid Leroy in there just because I like him a lot right now. Was that was that three or four? Yeah, it's four. I, I, okay, so you got one more, Will. I mean, can I put myself in there? <laughs> I mean, you can, but like, I, I'm gonna put myself in there because I, sh I should have put you in mind because yeah, I could. You I'm do a, listen to my music a lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna put myself in there just because okay. one day I'm gonna yeah, be whatever. top five too. So okay, all right, I like that. Yeah, that's a good mindset. Yeah, I want to know your perspective on this. So I already uh, know what you're gonna ask. Me <laughs> <laughs> when, ah! <laughs> Yo. when things go on and you're like, yeah, it's a big ass truck. Yeah. No. When things go on in your life, yep. and you 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 know you, you grab that pen, you grab your phone, you yep. go on your notes, yeah. Like, does that play a role in how you come up with like Bro, your music? Everybody beats? asks me this question. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to know like what my songs are about, what this is about, like how do you write? And I mean, it, it, it's different and I'm not I'm a very new artist I just started making music but but I, I feel like I can speak on behalf of a lot of people that just like make music and the fact is like it depends on how you, you make it it just depends like there's some things where like if something happens and I'm just like I just get a couple lines in my head and I, I start feeling it like that's when I'll just write first and then it'll be about something specific but a lot of my songs like actually aren't that way like a lot of my songs come from like me just looking for beats and listening to like an instrumental and then once you hear an instrumental like similar to when you listen to a song for the first time like you just get a mood from it right? yeah you get a mood. like you just get a vibe from like the, the the music like the instruments and everything like the, the, the drums and everything so like when I listen to a beat like whatever vibe it gives me no matter what the mood I'm in like whatever the beat gives me that's what I write about so like if I hear a beat and it's got like a sad vibe to it like I can put myself in a situation even if I'm not going through it I can put myself in a situation mm -hmm. in my head and then write about it it's, so it's That's like, some skill. Yeah, so it's like it's more of a creative thing than anything else. Like, but also I will say like when most of the songs like now I'm making a lot more like up tempo shit, like mm -hmm. like more like motivational type stuff. That's honestly just because of what I'm going through. Yeah. Because and then I'm looking for more like type beats because that's just what I'm going through right now. So I want to write about it more. Um, so it just depends, man. It's, it depends on a lot of things. True, true, true. All right, well, so you know, biggest question of 2020: What did you learn from this year, 2020? Yeah. Uh, well, 2020 has been a hell of a year for all of us, right? Like, I think the whole world's been through a lot of shit. But uh, this year was kind of crazy for me. Um, 
and I guess the most important thing I've learned this year kind of is just like when you're going through something you know and like your back's kind of against the wall you feel like shit um the most important thing I mean there's two ways you can handle it <laughs> you can either you can crumble like you can just let it eat you alive you can just stop caring stop caring <laughs> really really <laughs> Um, you can stop caring about yourself. You can, you know, focus on other things that don't matter. You can, I don't, I, I, you know, I don't even want to say this because, like, this is not something I consider. But, like, a lot of people nowadays, like, they're going through stuff. They just take drugs. Like, that's what people do. Um, Stay away from drugs, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, that shit is not the move. Yeah, it's just nah. Like, you shouldn't find an escape from a temporary high that could jeopardize your health. I mean, listen. Stay away from it, man. I mean, listen. Like at the end of the day, you know, do what you love, do what you want to do. But there's definitely a better way to handle things, in my opinion. Um, and what I found this year, I mean, just, just work out. Like, just work on yourself. You don't even have to work out, but just like work on yourself. Like, it, it, whatever like your dreams are, whatever you like doing, like do more of that shit. Like, just do what you love, do what you want to do. Work on yourself. Like. That little, those little things that, like, when you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, oh, I don't like this about myself. I don't like this about yourself. And don't lie. Everybody's got them. So, you know, if you're insecure about something, work on it. You're making me nervous behind this truck. Yeah, I don't like this whole situation in general, bro. Um, so, yeah, nah, just listen. Just take all your insecurities. Like, take all the stuff that you don't like about yourself and just work on it. It's literally that simple. I mean, I, I, I honestly, it's it's hard it's hard to listen to some, somebody like me because, I mean, I just started it. Like, it's it's it's... Nah, you started. Yeah. The minute you start and you've been consistent with it, yeah, true. you become an inspiration. Good point. Most people can't even start. Good point. Um, so yeah, nah, I mean, I, it's something I just really started, like really, really, really working on myself and focusing on myself, but I promise you it changes everything. It'll change your confidence. It'll change everything because, I mean, Gabe knows. Gabe hasn't known me for too long, but, you know, he's seen me go from, like, with my head down all the time and, like, just not really talking to people and just being just not confident in myself and to, to what I've already become in such a short time so um, big difference yeah I'm proud of you though thanks bro. so yeah nah just just work on yourself I promise you it'll be worth it it's um, good it's facts and chase your dreams for sure it's facts no matter how like high they are I mean listen like <laughs> my dreams are crazy but I'm still gonna work towards them even if I don't achieve them so you should facts. do the same thing biggest thing I've learned in 2020 is Life is too short. You need to go after what you love and just continue to do what you love. Because, you know, with this pandemic going on and a lot of deaths going on, it's been crazy. I got people around me who uh, had loved ones die, not even from COVID, just die. And, you know, you got to keep your loved ones close. And if you love someone, go out there, tell them you love them. Don't run away from your problems because... You know, that person won't always be here. It's the inevitable. That person is going to die. As rough as it may sound, that person is going to die. So you want to be with them as much as you can. Tell them you love them as much as you can. Nothing else matters. Like, life is what matters. If I'm in love with someone or if I love someone like my mom, I want to be with that person as much as I can because the inevitable will happen. That's what I've learned from 2020. So I hope you guys can apply it to your life. If there's someone out there that you love, just tell them you love them. And don't take anything for granted. All right? Yeah, and that's that's 100% for sure. And live your life to the fullest. For sure. Like, honestly, live your life to the fullest. If there's something that you want to do, go out there and do it. Um, don't worry about the risk. Just go out there and do it. And then everything will work itself out. So that's the biggest thing I've learned in 2020. Yeah. Yeah, I can definitely relate to that. I mean, I think a lot of people, like, I think... and. I just think a lot of people get like really comfortable like with life in general and like with people around them so I, I think that's why people just take people for, for granted a lot is because like you just get so used to like something or you just yeah. get so used to you think it's not gonna there. you think it's not gonna be gone yeah and, and then, you forget about how fragile life is yeah like people could die in a second yeah it's literally that simple and you know I mean that's with everything that's with whether you have a girl or like your parents or everything yep. man. um um, you gotta take care of the people that you love, for sure, and not take it for granted. It's facts. So, Will, my next question for you is, 
what is your end goal? Like, why are you waking up every day and grinding? Like, why right. don't you just stay in bed? Like, what is your end goal? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I like this. That's a good I'm on, question. I'm on the hot seat. Not is, it's, it, it, but it's also something that you should think about every day. Really, like Facts. you should always think about like what your, where, where your what's your is. why. You know? Yeah. Um. So uh, what what I kind of what drives me is family. So like, my goal is to have a family. Like that's what I want. I want to. I want to have a wife. I want to have kids. Like that's that's what drives me. And I, and I can I can think about that every day and be like, all right, this is why I'm doing this. Um, but then like, there's a lot of personal goals as well. Like I, I want to make money. Like money's important to me. Like I, I want to make money, and I want to be the best version of myself every single day. So that's those are kind of the three most important things. I mean, I I, I want to be the most important version of myself. I, I want to make money and I want to do the things I love. Like I want to make money doing what I like to do. And no one wants to be broken. Yeah, and I, you know I want to enjoy my life. I don't want to be sitting in an office that I don't want to be at. Like nah. Um, that's nice. And family. I mean, not not only just like the family I have now, because like I definitely want to do great things for them, um, but also the family I don't have yet and the family that I want to build. Um, that's something I think about a lot. So that's probably the three most important things for me. Okay. Go ahead. So you know, for me. What was the question? Uh, I was. Oh, your why? You said like, yeah, like why? Like why? Okay. Why do you wake up every day? Like what drives you? Same thing with him. My family. Like my immediate family are, not even my immediate family, my cousins, my whole entire family. I just, you know, my dad died when I was four. Most people don't know. So life has always been kind of a struggle. And my mother, um, no one endures that type of trauma and like, you know, not go through it. My mom went through it. So, uh, you know, I just want to be able to keep my promise that I made to my dad. And uh, that's all I can really, that's all I can really, like, feel like I can live for. I obviously want a family also. I also, whoo. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, there's a Lamborghini. See this thing? See, oh, my God. Let's manifest it. That's obviously going to be ours soon. All right. Oh it's a nice Lamborghini Aventador S, S, uh, VJ. And, um, you know, we're going to, we're going to manifest that because that'll be ours soon. But back to what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're telling a great story. Right? Um, and my why every day keeps me going. I'm going to be honest. Like, I want to retire my mom. I want to make sure my family is straight. And I want to make sure that um, I'm making my dad proud every day. And I know, I know for a fact, yeah, me yeah. busting my ass, me working, me retiring my mom, me taking care of the fam, yeah. I know it will make him proud. Yeah, so that's, yeah. that's what kind of keeps me going. He's looking down on you, smiling. Exactly, sure. and like with all that I want to do, all my goals and dreams, it all ends up to one goal: taking care of my family, taking care of my mom. So, um, yeah, that's basically that's my why. That's why I get up every day and grind. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Appreciate you, though. All right, well, what is your top three favorite cars that, like, that you have to get? Like, We're just you, talking about. That you have to get. Like, okay, so you know what I'm saying, <laughs> all right. Like you win, the, you win the lotto tomorrow. What are the the first three cars you buy? I want to hear. All right, so if I were to have three cars, yeah, three, three okay. cars. Range Rover, probably okay. Lambo or something. I, I think, I, yeah, I, I like Lambos, bro. I like a Wraith. Ooh, so Range Rover. All right, I'm, a, I'm a, okay. R Rover, Lambo, Tesla. I want a Tesla. Oh, oh, a Tesla. he a little, he a little. He a little bit indecisive. Oh, awesome. It's all good though. Stay in this all right. It's all good though because you know when you're that rich, you just get whatever. <laughs> Rover. Rover. Lambo. Lambo. Tesla. Tesla. Okay. Now which Tesla? The Model Three. Uh, dude, I, I don't. I, I don't. You know just want a Tesla. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, a Tesla. Yeah, it's not bad. That's not bad. Now for me. <laughs> you yeah. Know you, know, you know cars better than me, so you got like. You know I'm a Ferrari guy. Don't yeah. Yeah. Oh, I need me an eight one twelve super fast. Those cars are nice. I'm a big Ferrari guy. I want a Ferrari so bad. I will get a Ferrari so bad. Um, I also do want a Range Rover. Probably they're fire. Yeah, they are they're fire. Nice. And then um, I want a a Lamborghini Huracan. I think those things are those things are nice, man. Those things are so nice. The way the back is, it's just oh, they're so nice. But yeah, those are my three top cars. Bro, I heard that like that are famous like they, they get tired of their sports cars like yeah that's what i heard so so i was listening to david dobrik podcast 
we were talking about that. That's what they were talking about? Yeah. Most of them, that's why most of them lease. Yeah. Like, they don't really own them. And, like, you know, cars depreciate. Like, when I when I become successful, I want to have a, like, a car collection. Um, uh, I know some of the Kona segs, they go up in value. Um, I did hear that the Dodge Demon will go up in value eventually. So, I kind of want to start my own car collection, but, like, Oh, you're trying to treat, you're trying to treat it like it's a stock or something? Yeah. What? Hell yeah. Everything's are, everything yeah. is an investment. True, true, <laughs> everything. True, true. And then uh, I, I, I'm gonna buy a Ferrari. Like I'm gonna own it outright. I have to. I'm gonna own a, a one Lamborghini outright. And the rest of my cars will probably be a lease because, I mean, I don't know. It depends. I'm a big, I'm a, I'm a big car guy. My goal is to have an insurance quote of. 100k a year just in cars so i don't know we'll, we'll see that's just one of those one of those one of those things that if you're so rich you don't know what you do with your money that you have i don't know what to do with my money but it's just something i want I, I just love cars so yeah so like when you when you say you look at everything as an investment are we talking like women too Actually, let's talk about that. <laughs> yeah, yes, you're gonna, you're dog. Gonna, you're gonna have to cut this whole part. Yes, <laughs> this whole part's gonna sound bad sexist, but like, no, 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 no. Women are an investment too. They are though. But if you think about it, like a woman, a woman like investing in a guy, I like guess it's, it's, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's both. We're, we're investment to them too. Yeah, right? it's both. Stay on your right side. Right. Oh, shit. Yeah, I got it. That is a fat line. All the way. Oh uh, yeah, all the way. Mm, this is gonna be tough. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that. Women uh, are an investment just as much as we're an investment to them. You know no, that's saying? true. Yeah, that's yeah. That's Cause true. like I mean, yeah. I don't want, I don't want a dumb female. I'm not saying females <laughs> are dumb. I want to, I want to, I want a smart female. I want a female who, that you can grow with. Do you get what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, that's the most and important like, thing. I'm not gonna, you know, I take that back. I'm not gonna say a dumb female because no one's really dumb. They just don't really, they just lack the knowledge. And if you lack, if you lack, if you lack the if you uh-huh. if you lack the knowledge in something that doesn't make you dumb it's just you just don't know you know what i'm saying like yeah. you just don't know it doesn't make you dumb so we'll take that comment back bro um but i just i like a i like a female who, that i can grow with bro like yeah that's the most important part exactly in my opinion that's that's the most important thing yeah who has a good head on their shoulders yeah. who's not, like not a follower no one likes a follower. That shit's important, bro. It's very important. They don't tell you about that in school. They don't teach you they about don't. that. You you witness it. You oh, see it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they, they don't teach you about that. They don't. Bro. That's just something you got to experience, bro. Yeah, like, you got to be your own damn person. And you know? Girls that, like, be following around with their friends be doing and stuff. Mm-mm. It's not the move. Nah. Because, like, what do you what do you have to say for yourself? Yeah. If so-and-so jumps off a cliff, you're going to jump off a cliff, too? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. But, um, yeah, my ideal female is, like, someone who has a good head on their shoulders. I know I said that already. Have goals. Um, you know, health. Health is very important. You know, like, ever since I lost all this weight and I've been on this healthy mindset, like, I've been happier. Like, it's crazy how your physique could transfer onto the mental side of your body. It's crazy, sure. but that's just how the body works. And ever I really since... I'm making it right here. Yeah, you are. Um, and ever since I, I got in shape mentally, or I mean, ever since I got in shape physically, mentally, I got in shape too. And it's like, I need to date a female who, or I would love a female who mentally is there and physically is there also, because that translates to the health. Look at this, look at this sucker, look at this. Look, 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 look. Y'all good? Oh man, if you're in Florida, you're driving, be safe. <laughs> the ideal female is, Someone who who she has goals and dreams like, and that's the same yeah, determination that I have. What 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 about you, uh, Egghead? What do you? What did you just call me? I called you Egghead. Fuck <laughs> that. Egghead. What's that? Oh. You see? You see? Hey. Look, look, Will's trying to kill me, man. Hey. That Will's was trying to kill me. me. Yeah. Okay. Oh that's, my that god. Yeah, that was me. Right. Nah. The most important. I mean, for the, for the female for me, bro. She's gotta like. I I just want to grow with somebody. That's all. That's that simple. I just want to grow with somebody. I mean, obviously, I gotta be attracted to them, but <laughs> it's that I just gotta be attracted to them. Yeah. I gotta be able to grow them. It's like simple. The looks will draw you in, yeah. But yeah, it's I mean, the yeah. mentals that will make you stay. Yeah, and that's 100%. like the most important part. Hundred percent. Would that's... you be able to date an ugly girl but who has a very good mindset? I mean, okay. Like she's but ugly. Like, 
<laughs> okay, but it depends. Bro. Is she ugly to society or is she ugly to me? Because I feel like if she's ugly to you, will I mean like, no, no, no. Like I'm like I, if you're not attracted to somebody, you, you that's like, facts. You know what I mean? It's like, important. You got to be attracted to them too because you got to spend the rest of your life with that person. Yeah, like I mean, ten years down the road, you're not attracted. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, you have to be like a like a you know like completely like a model all these TikTok something. girls yeah. and stuff. But like, um, you don't have to be a TikTok girl to attract me, but. I mean, well, you know, we know you be on TikTok twenty four seven. This guy's a TikTok girl. <laughs> <laughs> what he meant to say was a model. Or yeah, you don't have to be super, super, super bad. Or oh my god, she's hot. Yeah, but you know, you have that to just attract. Like I, I you just have to be attracted to, to you. Yeah. And look, no one's out there is ugly. It's just that like you're right. We're not attracted to exactly. You. Like certain people attract certain yeah. people. Like this is how it works. I literally haven't been able to take my eyes off the road. Yeah, please um, keep keep them on the road. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to look at the camera though, but it's been like impossible. I take my eyes off the road for one second. I got a Dodge Chrysler uh, flying across. Exactly, like, bro. Like, like this, like this, like this. Because we gotta we gotta make the closing out. Oh. Video. Oh, true. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't even know how to end that. I mean. Yeah, this was like a, a weird type of podcast thingy. Yeah. I honestly forgot about it. Yeah, a um, mobile a mobile podcast. <laughs> Something a little yeah, different. Yeah. Something a little different, yeah. for sure. A little bit more personal than yeah. the normal Gabe Duncan video. Well, that's facts. That's facts. Um, but make sure you guys copy merch, man. You know, got the shirts out here. Got the hoodies out here. You know, it's a movement. It's a lifestyle. It's a mentality. And it changed my life. Maybe it can change yours. Maybe it can inspire you, motivate you to do whatever. Changed but, um, my life, for sure. Yeah, Get your merch. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. That's one underscore more ninety seven. Talk to them all. I got nothing, bro. No, it's fun you, talking to everybody. You gotta give them your your oh, IG handle. Dude, I hate shouting myself out. See, his problem is he doesn't like to promote himself. It's the stupidest shit in the world. I've never heard that before. Like, you want to put yourself out there. You know what I'm saying? You gotta let the world know. Hey. You're here. True. Greatest rapper alive. You're here. Mm, eventually. Let the world eventually. know, man. Eventually. Uh, Y'all can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram's Will Call with two V's. Exactly. I'll put it in there. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys stay tuned to the next video. <laughs> we out!